This is a 2019 lawn care trailer setup. This is a 6x12 enclosed trailer with the V-nose. Uh, it has the LED package. Uh, it was raw wood, so I painted uh, with outside paint. Uh, you know, black. I did like three coats of black and two coats of green to match the the uh, green touch uh, trimmer rack. Uh, I got the the four piece. I'm still gonna get probably a combi. I'm gonna drop this ones down because I have the biggest one at the top, or probably this one, and then have the combi at the bottom with the the combi I want for the hedge trimmer and the saw, the pole saw and the extension. Uh, I have the, what is it, trimmer pole or, I mean, trimmer rack or whatever that I, that I made myself, uh, with the L, L, uh, metal. And I use, actually, this is a 130, it's not the, the 95 or whatever. This is a 130 and I know it's, it, they might say that it's bad for the machines, but I had them for, well, this one's for just uh, a little bit over a year, but I had another steel 240 that lasted me for almost six years, no problems. Uh, I have sh uh, four sure cans, two of, of regular gas and two of mix. This one, uh, I'm gonna give it to somebody because I don't use it anymore. Okay, for the mowers, I have the Toro. Uh, <clears throat> I think they're the 2017 model because they had an older model that had problems but this one is the latest one I can't remember I bought them in 2018 but I think they upgraded them in 2017 uh, they're working perfectly uh, this one I use yeah, I put an hour meter even before I bought them like I, I got the hour meter and then as soon as I got them I put it on this one has 255 hours and then this one is it's only 108 hours uh let's see this one the only issue was that ha uh that a belt broke off but that's because i had a, i had a new guy and then he went kind of fast on tall grass and you know he kind of like let the let the the belt burn out a little bit so of course it's, it was nothing with it i mean uh, and then this one it's a little bit older so the only thing that it messed up it, it was the the cable to engage the blades which I put a brand new one. It was only like $20. Uh, other than that, they've been working pretty great. I do the maintenance. I do the whole change, the filters. The whole change and the air filters, I, I change them every 50 hours. That's why I put the the hour meters so I can do the, the maintenance for it. And also, I want to see how long they're going to last, you know. And let's see... The little change the blades of course i sharpen them up out of i have like 10 pairs um and then i'm just sharpening them now and and switching them at the same time um let's see uh i wish they would have like a thing to hold this open uh so it, it doesn't have it and i used to put like a stick right here and but it would only keep it like this but now it stays all the way open because i i got a little chain and then just hold it and it holds it open so it helps a lot you can you can put the 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 bag or whenever i open that i close this with with the grass stopper um let's see like i said mowers i give it a nine out of ten they've been working perfectly i wish instead of carrying this thing around i wish they had like the honda where you can just close it and then open it the honda has that version if you want to mulch it or or bag it but it's okay i guess um i have the new bag right here that i haven't never even used because i just use that one until it wears out and then you know i just whenever every time i switch mowers i just put the bag over here i have i have the echo the hc 120 it's actually 152 um uh, i'm i'm more of a steel fan but i i this, this one they had it on sale last year so i bought it and it's been working great uh let's see bags small bags medium large um oil still oil um uh, 
let's see the uh for the weeders the this is a 94 the fs94 i just got this one uh less than a month ago actually like two weeks ago and i think i got it for like 280 and it was an um, open house and i got that and then i got the the blower the the, the new br 800c which this was the greatest purchase probably out of all here because i had that one and i mean it, it does the job it's a husky 150 but this one is just perfect and i don't even have to pick it up uh in the mornings you still have to put the choke on and also like uh pump you know pump the the little bubble but uh you can just uh turn it on from from right here so what i do i unhook it and then do that do the pumps and, and turn the the choke and i don't even have to like pick it up or anything i just go like this and then put it on and then walk to where i need it and then turn it on or whenever i need to turn it on turn it off it's it's perfectly because i don't have to take it off and then whenever i'm finished blowing the driver or whatever i come back turn myself around lay it on the platform and then put this back back on the way i had it and then uh strap it and go without having to do that like 20 times a day or 30 actually even more because you know you do it once to pick it up once to bring it back so if you do 20 lines that's 40 40 times they have to pick it up and whenever people are are uh, well wanting wanting to give you a check or whatever i have to talk to my guy uh, if i need to turn it off instead of telling him to oh, turn it back on or if i need to turn it back on i can't i don't have to lay it on the ground i could just uh turn it on from here which uh it's like perfect I, i'm not gonna buy any more without it it needs to be an electric start or that and that's just the bottom line because it's just perfect it was 650 it just came out a few months ago like a couple of months ago but on the open house they brought it down to 550 so i saved 100 and this one was originally 350 and then they brought it to 290 i believe 290 or 280 i can't believe how much i paid but then they also had a raffle and then i also got a a uh a box with 48 of uh kawasaki the two gallon the two th this one's but it's kawasaki the ones that makes two gallons i have 48 on of them and then they're about three something a piece so it's like 150 dollars so i got a good deal for that i got miracle girl oh sorry about that i got miracle girl uh in here and then i have weed killer for that one which that's this one right here so whenever that that gets you know halfway or less and i'll put some more uh let's see what else regular tools you know i have screwdrivers here toolbox just little things i mean nothing nothing major here uh, i built this because i wanted to put some shoes here because if they get wet or whatever then i was just gonna put like three pairs right here and maybe something else over here but i mean i don't really need it yet so i'll probably either change them or or see what else i can do with it uh i have the big scott spreader i was gonna buy a 200 dollar one but i mean i only i only spread it in march and then like before the winter so i don't really wanted to buy an expensive one this one was like it was like 50 dollars, but they had it on sale on, during the winter for like 30 or 25 i can't believe how much they had it so it was a pretty good deal um let's see let's see what else am i missing oh and with the paint it, it had like a little texture so i want to see how many years it can last me um because i know i do get that wet and then this from the mower so i might have to swap the floor within like three years or four years so we'll see but uh yeah hopefully like i said it lasts me a few years because then i'm gonna upgrade to a seven by 14 probably and that's gonna be the one for me because i uh i do want to get a stand on more but i'm waiting for the right the the, the right stand on more the 32 inch right now it has a fixed deck so you have to uh whenever you want to 
uh, change the deck size. You have to move the wheels up and down and then put the pin and all that, which I'm not for it. Uh, I think in 2021, maybe, uh, I think they're working on it right now, but it's going to take a while. Uh, so you can have a, a lever. If not, I'm going to end up buying another stand on more, but I can always remove this air, this one and leave it leave it at home and, leave, and move those uh, pieces of wood and, you know, just have the, back, the stand on mower right here in the center of it. So I can still use this trailer, but I just bought this one because it was a great deal. And and uh, it fits my needs for now. Uh, I also have the five gallon uh, water jug. I uh, made it like this, so you, can, you don't even need uh, cups or anything. You can just put your put your head right here, and or you can, you know, with the Gatorade wa uh, bottle, you can just get it right here. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, if you have any questions, uh, I'm not gonna make any other big purchases. Like I said, it's just probably gonna be the combi, but I'm not sure. I'm. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. I know they have the electric combi, which I do want to switch to electric because it's like pretty much no maintenance. The only thing you swap is the batteries when they go bad. And a lot of times they give you a long, a long uh, warranty for the batteries that, you know, it's pretty much worth it. So they have, they do have the electric combi right now. I think it's the 130, but, and then you can just put regular, uh, I like the hitch uh, extension and all that from the gas you can swap it to that but like i said uh we'll see i i i just want this one to last me for a few years until the electric game you know starts to get back up where it's light and and long lasting or even if you could just swap the batteries quick and you know not to worry about anything that's gonna be my thing um i have the 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 240R, which I believe was 600, it's the top of the line. And then I got this one, the 11RX, which it was, uh, can't remember about it last year. It already lasted me a whole year and it still turned something like, you know, like nothing. And I use this one pretty much every day, all day long. And then this one, it was for the, for the one time I was at, or right now that people haven't mowed them and in like three months and then you have to charge them more but if you do it with this one it will take you a long time to do the edge and all that so i do pull out this one when it's a heavier job and then this one i had it for regular jobs but still this one's like 14 pounds and then i just bought the 94 which has also a lot of power and then um, i'm gonna be using the this one for the weekly which i have a lot of them and they're pretty much almost, you don't pretty much do anything, you know, on the edge is pretty much nothing. And then along the fence, it's also almost nothing. And then since I have the 130, I know you guys are going to say, oh, you shouldn't be using the 130 because it's too thick. And you're going to be overheating the, the whatchamacallit, the, the engine, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, I used to have an Echo trimmer that was like $400 and I had the steel, the 240 which also the, the 240, I was using it all day. And then the, the, the Echo was my primary first, but it kept on giving me problems and all that. And I ended up selling it and just using the, the 240. And it lasted me for about six years. And about two years since I bought the 240, it also kind of like didn't want to turn on or like bog down, but I removed the filter which it has like a little thing on the filters. This I, I, I already removed the filter from here. It has a little thing and it's mainly so it won't spark and you know, catch on fire. Like the, if you're in the woods and stuff, it's just a safety rule that they have. But as soon as I get them, I take that off right away. I took, took it off from here, the mesh and from the new one too. And no problems, just two pulls on, on choke and then one pull regular, they turn on like nothing. And then after after you've been mowing for a while, one pull, that's it. Same for the Husky, the Husky, that's me. All, like it was my single mower, it never had no issues. <clears throat> like I said, in the morning you put the choke on, then after that you're, you're rock and rolling. So this one's also the motor, nothing, you just pull twice, that's it, no choke, no nothing. 
like I said, the belt for this one and then the the cable for this one. But you know, this one was twenty bucks for the, for that, and the belt was like twenty five. So, and you can do it yourself. You, you, there's a lot of videos for for this how to how to do it. I mean, you just unscrew it and and then some more screws and it's it, it's also pretty easy. It's pretty easy to maintain. So I do recommend the tour uh the 30 inch they're 999 if you get the commercial one i think it's like 17 or close to 2000 so i said oh why am i gonna buy one of those when i could buy two of these in case one of them goes down then i can use the other one so i used this one for a few months until the the cable uh broke off and then uh it was gonna take a few days like a couple of days in amazon and not a half couple of days so i went and bought this one that's why this one has only 100 100 hours and this one 255 so at 150 the thing broke off but like i said i mean probably my guy was pulling it too much or whatever now during the winter out it's just me by myself so I, i'll take care of better <coughs> i'll take care of care of them better so like i said and it, it was a, a 20 dollar and a 30 dollar issue so nine out of ten like i said i would give it a 10 if it had a bigger tank of gas and also the the flip to mulch and and for the bag instead of carrying that thing because if you lose this thing or if it breaks up you're gonna have to buy a new one you know and maybe it's not too much but i just don't like to be okay uh what okay i gotta take it out and then put put it in and put the bag back and all this for sometimes I, I do bag bag the bag and not the front because the bag they have dogs and they don't want them they don't want them to be bringing <clears throat> grass inside so it's just a back and forth thing that I wish it just had like a switch right here and like the Honda. So the shirt cans, like I said, they're, they're perfect except for one thing. <coughs> here it gets really hot, like 105 during the summer and then they expand and this is sealed pretty good. And then on the other side, uh, uh, right here, it's also like they don't, you don't need air. So it's like, like, like a big old bubble right here. And during the winter, they kind of like, like shrink in. So if you have like like one gallon or less than a gallon, like the whole thing is like all de deformed. And then you can't even go put gas because uh, like it's not going to fit not even halfway. So what I ended up doing is that you, uh, uh, you cut a little thing. See, you can see it right here. With the little blade, I made it like a little cut. You see, just a tiny one. I made a bigger one for the one because uh, this one, this is two, that's one, and that's two. So I used a few for, from this one faster. So this one goes pretty quick. And I made a little tiny one because this is going to last longer. I don't want to, the fuel is not going to go bad because in a couple of days, uh, I finished the, I, it says five gallons, but I only put like halfway. So it's easier to hand, to maneuver. So in like a couple of days, it's already gone and then I use this. So it really is never gonna go bad because you don't give it a long time. If it was the whole winter or, or a month without being used and it had the opening, then yeah, but not for a couple of days. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably, whenever that one goes bad, whatever new new uh, blower that they have with the with the easy start, that's what I'm gonna switch from steel. Like I said, I'm I'm a steel and echo fan, <coughs> but uh, echo has let me down with the like I said with the old uh, trimmer that I had, and then also I have a few of my friends that also like they were surprised that my steel last last me six years doing twenty lumps a day because uh, there's I mean, every two seasons they have to swap. And they're big fans of Echo. One of my friends has the new Echo, which is the... I can't remember what it is. The P... Well, what, I don't know. It, it's the same equivalent as this, but it's, it is it is more powerful. I've seen some videos, and, and I use his, and, and yeah, it is more powerful. But the padding is like foam, and it was kind of hard for me. This, this, look how thick that is. I don't use the, this because I don't do leaf cleanup, so I don't need it. You know, it's just a five minute quick, you know, driveway and then, not, I mean, a couple of minutes and then, you know, so I, I strapped it on the back. 
But the other one has, it doesn't have anything over here other than the strap that goes straight down. And then it just has like a padding, a foam padding right here. And I only used it for a few minutes and it was some, kind of uncomfortable. People say that it's comfortable for them, but it wasn't for me. So that was immediate. And then it has the, the start, the pull thing from the back. So it, it doesn't really do anything for me. It's just like that one. But like I said, it is more powerful though. Cause uh, like this one has probably the same power, but it takes longer. Like if you shoot leaves, like, uh, and there's a big pile, it will take you just a little bit longer to shoot them as far as the other one. The other one is just boom, and, and it, it just goes, you know, straight out and and quick, you know, low RPMs. And this one takes a little bit longer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of kind of sick. But I'm not really looking for that. I, I do nothing but like new subdivisions, pretty much. 90% of them are, are new subdivisions where they have a little tree in the front, which is like a 10 foot, not even 10 foot tree so they don't really have leaves i don't do leaf cleanups like you guys do uh in other videos that, that i've seen that you guys charge like 250 to, to do a cleanup so i didn't buy it for that i just bought it for the for the convenience i just bought it for the convenience of, of this where like i said i just pick it up put it i mean put it on and go and just pull it you just gotta pull it just give it a You just gotta pull it just a little bit until, or like right now, until it starts to get hard where uh, to pull. So and then after that, you just pull it all the way out, and that's it. That's it. I, I haven't had no issues. I already used it. Oh, and uh, what I did I, is uh, I added an hour meter. And I guess I don't know if you guys can see it. It only has like five hours right now, but. It's, uh, it's supposed to last 300 hours, the, I mean the minimum or whatever, so uh, as long as it lasts me two to three years, that's perfect for me because then either I'll sell it for like half the price or you know, just enough to get whatever is best for in three years or whatever, that works for me and this one will be sold or swapped by another still, it, uh, if it goes bad then I'll just buy another one, <laughs> same one. But if not, then I'll wait. Hopefully, may maybe they'll have the the lower models. The uh, I don't know what, what I don't know what the numbers are. I think the six hundred and the five hundred or whatever, just a lighter one, and then I'll, I'll have it at the bottom with the pull start. If it doesn't have the pull start, I'm not getting it. So, if you guys have any any questions about anything about the trimmers, the the mowers, just anything just let me know uh i was always looking at videos uh before i bought the the equipment and before i bought the trailer and all that and i was always you know fascinated about how people did their own trailer setup and all that so like i said if you have any questions let me know i'll try to answer them thank you for watching